uh, that was it for those two days. Today was another crazy day. Um, my morning started out really sucky. Um, I'm a little bit better now, um, but uh, I unfortunately have a, I don't think it's completely torn yet, but um, my tendon in my foot is really badly damaged and is basically, you know, the doctor said like, rotting away and like pulling apart and it's it could rip and I could lose a tendon and it would severely deform my foot and I would require it for surgery which apparently would probably um leave me lagged up for like a year I think they said it was like a year recovery which was scary um and I was given a boot um a while ago my mother had to pick it up um she refused to pick the day that I was actually available because I said, hey, we can wait for the day that I'm actually available to go because they really want me to go. Um, she picked it up instead um, and they weren't able to tell me everything. Um, and it was incredibly painful the first day. Um, so I went back. I wasn't able, I was able to make a call and make a quick um, stop in to see the nurse. Um, she told me. Hey, I was wearing it a little bit wrong, um, and she gave me um, these little support things to, like this support thing to even out my other foot. Um, I tried it out again um, at work, and I was still in an incredible amount of pain within just hours of walking around on it. Um, I was in agony. By the time I got home, I could not walk. Um, so when I went in today, and they're telling me, um, you have to wear the boot or... It's either you wear the boot or you you have to you screw up your foot and you have to go into surgery or the, the, there's the, there's nothing else you can do. Um, so um, yeah, yeah, it was I was really upset this morning, uh, especially because I was just terrified about being in agony again. Um, luckily, they gave me inserts um, for it. Um, I did walk around today. Um, I did walk from the hospital um, back. I went to um, I think Garrity's Antiques, which is um, another antique shop I go to all the time. So I wanted to check in if they had something for me. Um, and I also went to another place um, before that. And luckily um, I walked around a bit and I have not had pain. Um, so I'm really hoping this works. I'm going to try it out tomorrow. I also got a um, little write-up for um, crutches um, and for special insoles. Um, I probably passed it out now. But yeah, so this morning I was really, really upset. Uh, I was basically crying because I was just thinking about how much pain I was in. Um, for the two days that I had been wearing it, um, and just how I didn't want pain again. I didn't want this, this shit to happen. Um, so the first place I went, I luckily found a place that sells Kinder Eggs, um, and I was so excited when I found it. So I went in and I grabbed some Kinder Eggs, um, and the people were really sweet because um, my card took forever to... My card took forever to uh, go through, so they gave me a free cup of coffee, and then the guy came out, um, the lady offered me a free cup of coffee, um, gave me that, um, and then the guy came out, and he gave me these, um, I don't know what they are, what kind of pastry they are, but um, I'm going to try them. But it really cheered me up to have these people uh, be so nice to me. But um, it smells like cornbread, so I think it's like cornbread. Yeah, so it's just a sweet cornbread. Um, that was cool. But it just really cured me out to um, to have these people be so sweet to me um, after having a rough morning. Um, and then, of course, uh, I went into uh, I think Garrity's antique shop, um, because I was looking for 
um, the same box that I bought my two previous dolls. Um, I was looking for the rest of the box for a while because uh, I'd gone back the day after I got those two to look for the other ones because they were just broken pieces and stuff. But I was like, hey, I can use them like art projects and stuff. And they had like mis they moved it, um, no no idea where it went, and I ended up finding it. Um, so I'm super excited that I found it. Um, so I got some weird baby dolls, some dolls. Um, one of the nicer ones that isn't damaged is uh, this little thing. It was like they made in Japan. But she was cool. So uh, yeah, continuing. Um, so I got a bunch of busted, broken dolls, pieces of dolls. Um, I got a wonderful baby head. I got this weird hole. I guess some, I don't know if it was originally there. I think someone probably drilled a hole to have it hung the baby head. I don't know. But there's like some weird part of like the neck that goes up holding on. But it's, it's, uh, it's cool. Um, then I got other ones like this, uh, this thing, but, uh, she has no arms. Nah. More dolls. Most of them, um, is another one, like the other one I got that's permanently sleepy with a broken head. Um. And she has this like this thing. And then uh, this is another one they threw in last minute for me. They're like, here, take her. So some of them are pretty creepy, but I love them. This one with like Peter Pan on like ice skates. And I have like heads. So I don't know if this is the head that was supposed to go with this one. Might be. Missing arms. And uh the Indian girl or whatever girl with I think she might have been supposed to be an Indian just because she has this little thing. But, uh, and of course there were like arms in the thing. Um, this is another one that's pretty much intact. Um, still kind of grungy. I think this is the one with the Peter Pan, like the the hat, the little head, and another one. And then the weirdest one in there was this completely melted baby doll body with like the dress still attached to it. Like you can see the weird melted feet. Um. Like the hand and stuff. Don't know how it melted, but it's interesting. So, so yeah, I got all those. Um, uh, and then I also picked up some other cool things. Um, one of the things I picked up was uh, this awesome book. I love old books for a dollar twenty, a 
four fifty. Um, it is it says eighteen seventy four. Can't read the name. I don't know if anybody can read that. If they can turn it off, pick it up. But uh, it looks like the original is ten dollars. But it's the Franklin Third Reader by G. S. Wood and J. L. J. Campbell. With illustrations, Boston Brewer and Tesla, eighteen seventy four. So um, that's cool. I love the old books. Um, and then I also picked up. They had a lot of um, a whole bunch of printers type box blocks um, for Father John's medicine for coughs and colds. Um, and they had a whole bunch of boxes. Um, I could not afford the lot. It was like sixty five bucks for the lot, which is cheap considering how much you can actually like sell these for um and buy them individually but i can't afford it um so i just convinced them to send me to let me have them individually um so i got this for a dollar um father john medicine um so it's cool i love medicine stuff um and then i got this one which uh it's cool um it says cold Philip Philip's can't make out what it says backwards, but um, this one says colds are contagious. Get rid of them by. By using oh, and that says Father John's medicine. I have a picture of him. So I thought those were cool um, things. So yeah, love medicine things. Um, and then also, just thought I'd share a neat little find that I found. Um, it is a Mexican point coin um, that I just randomly found um, walking down the street. So it was 500. Yeah, so it was 500. It has a dollar sign. Um, this is 1988. And it has a guy on it. It says Mudders. And then there's the eagle with the snake. You guys can see that. Um, but yeah, that was a cool find to randomly find. I always find weird things from Morgan and Wood that people drop. Um, but I find it interesting. So, yeah, that was it for today. Um, and it's been a crazy long weekend because I had the day off because of Dodgers of Um Yeah, that was it. For this crazy weekend this crazy awesome weekend um that's it thanks for watching